When you go live, do you want to be able to record that stream as well? So you can maybe post it as a video later or get some clips from it. Well, today I'm going to show you how to do that with OBS and all of the best settings you need to make your life a lot easier in the editing process, because trust me, there's some things that you should be doing. And speaking of clipping off your streams, you should check out Nexus Clips, which is a tool that watches your streams for you and uses AI to find the best possible moments ranked by how viral they're likely to go. And then it will automatically add captions for you, allow you to add a sticker with your name or a hook to reel people in perhaps. You can even clip up your existing YouTube videos. So if you have a massive backlog of content, you can clip those too. And then once you're done editing using all of their amazing features to make your content pop, you can then move on to post directly to YouTube and TikTok without exporting from the platform itself. And the AI has your back here too by giving you a caption and hashtag recommendations based on what's likely to do best for the content you're making in that niche. You can schedule content in advance as well. And there's even a content calendar built in for you to keep track of all of that. So if you want to start having a way higher chance of going viral with your shorts, as well as having more professional looking content and saving yourself a bunch of time and hassle, then you can try out Nexus Clips for free down below or by using my code CAL for 10% off of any paid version of the software. I use it myself for all of my short form content and here's some of the results I've had across the channels that I've used this for. So don't sleep on it, go try it now. But anyway, let's go back to the video and show you how to stream and record at the same time with all of the right settings. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to your settings here and you're gonna be able to see our output section. You'll see there's two sections here. You've got the streaming section and the recording section. You'll see in the recording section that there is a recording path box. This is where you're gonna browse exactly where you want your recordings to be sent when they're done. So just pick a folder that's memorable for you. I just make it go to my movies in my MacBook and on my PC, I send it to videos. For the recording quality, if you go for same as stream, please bear in mind that's the default and it sometimes can have a lot of loss in terms of the quality. For example, I typically stream in either 1080p or if I'm pushing it with a maybe a lower tier game, I go up to 4K if I can. And sometimes it will lower the quality down. If I'm 1080, it maybe records at 720. And if I'm 4K, it might bring it down to sort of degradate the footage. But there is a lossless version in this list and some other versions as well that up the quality, but also up the file size. So make sure you have a good amount of hard drive space, especially if you're going to be streaming for long hours. For the recording format, I go for MKV, typically because it makes the size of the file a little bit less. And then you can remux the recording by going to file in OBS, clicking remux, finding the recording you've made, and then it will send it to MP4 or whatever else you'd like. You can of course change this as well. I would recommend leaving it as MKV and remuxing, like I said, but if you want just for quality reasons to go straight for MP4, again, careful of the file size, but that's a good option too. Now, something else I really recommend doing that I don't see talked about enough is if you go to your audio mixer here, which you'll see you'll have maybe your microphone plugged in and the desktop audio. If you want to go to advanced audio properties from the three dots or by right clicking and going to advanced audio properties that way. And then you'll see this big list here. And this is anything that's causing audio on your stream, essentially. So you'll see that mine has a screen capture and my microphone. You might have more, you might have less. This is normally where you come to kind of monitor stuff, check it, make sure there's no delay. But there is also this end section called tracks. And something I really, really recommend doing here that I do all the time when I'm recording gameplay content in particular is I would recommend separating your audio from your microphone from you speaking on stream and the audio of the game itself. And you can do that by deselecting the tracks. So if you want to leave your game on one, unselect every other track. And then if you want to leave your audio from your mic separate, unselect one, maybe put it on two and deselect the rest and so on. Basically select it on a different track. That way when you're done recording and you drag your footage into an editing software, Software like Premiere or DaVinci, for example, you'll have two audio tracks under your video. One will have your voice, one will have the gameplay. It makes it so much easier for editing. And if you have extra stuff in this list from streaming, let's say you have stream alerts for followers or you have music playing in the background, you can turn that off on all of your tracks so it doesn't record, but it does output to the stream. That way you have everything you need for your stream, but when you're recording, you're just getting the clean gameplay audio and you're getting the clean microphone audio. And of course, then you can avoid any copyright issues and any abrupt kind of massive alert that pop up in the middle of your videos. And it goes without saying, also gives you the ability then to raise and lower the game audio and the mic audio when you're actually putting it into video form, just to make sure there's no kind of loss there as well. And then my last tip is there is a setting in OBS that will make it that when you click start streaming, it will also automatically start recording just to save forgetting or having to click it and having it out of time and starting at a different point. And that can be found here. And it is as simple as just enabling that option. And then once you're ready to go live and record, of course, you just click the start streaming button. You'll also see that it will start recording. And then when you're you're done streaming just click stop streaming as you normally would and it will also automatically stop the recording and send that file directly to whichever folder you decided for it to go to and that is just about everything so just to wrap up check your file path folder to make sure your recording is saving to the place you want if you want higher quality remember to change that drop down so it's a little bit higher for you record to mkv for file size reasons or go to mp4 if you want better quality definitely split the audio from your microphone in your gameplay and remove any copyrightable sounds do not get a strike for something silly don't do it and the fifth and final was to set up the auto record function just to save
save you forgetting and hating yourself when you haven't recorded a video that you plan to. I've done it before and it sucks. But that is all from me today with this little quick one for you. If you want some free Twitch artwork before you go, you can head to my website down below, which has a bunch of free starter packs for you, as well as an everything pack, which has everything you need for a very cheap price just to get you going with some basic artwork. Our community Discord is also down below with 300 plus other streamers and creators just like you. So if you want to join to have some friends, maybe some advice or just chat or hang out, that is there for you too. And in the meantime, here is your last chance to subscribe before you go. And here is another video that you might find helpful on your streaming journey. Hopefully I'll see you in another video. Mwah.